IPV is an inactivated poliovirus vaccine and is recommended for routine immunization in many countries. In this video, we will answer a few key questions about IPV. First, what is inactivated poliovirus vaccine? IPV protects against poliovirus. Poliomyelitis, or polio, is a highly infectious viral disease caused by poliovirus types 1, 2, or 3 and can lead to paralysis. IPV is an inactivated poliovirus vaccine and is available as a standalone product or in combination with diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, hepatitis B, and or HIV. IPV is highly effective against all three types of poliovirus. When is it given? For countries no longer infected with polio, WHO recommends that children receive one to three doses of IPV depending on the country's use of OPV. IPV can be given with oral polio vaccine at 14 weeks of age. Alternatively, IPV can be given in a sequential series followed by OPV. In this schedule, one to two doses of IPV are given starting from two months of age, followed by at least two doses of OPV. An interval of four to eight weeks is required between all doses. The third alternative is that IPV can be given as three doses beginning at two months of age, with an interval of four to eight weeks between doses. If the IPV series begins before two months of age, a booster should be given at least six months after the last dose. Consult your immunization schedule to learn which of these three alternatives your immunization program has chosen. What are contraindications for IPV? IPV should not be given if an infant has experienced hypersensitivity or anaphylaxis to a previous dose of the vaccine. Postpone vaccination if the child has moderate to severe illness with a temperature of 39 degrees Celsius or higher. How is IPV administered? The vaccine is given in a 0.5 milliliter dose as an intramuscular injection. The injection should be administered in the outer mid thigh in infants and children. What are possible adverse events? IPV is one of the safest vaccines in routine use. There are no known serious reactions for IPV. Mild events such as injection site redness, swelling and soreness do occur. How is it stored? IPV should be stored between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze. You should now have a better understanding of IPV.